Uh, welcome to Zag IT recruitment training, specifically for IT recruitment consultants to help them understand the very difficult marketplace that they're trying to recruit in. In this snippet, we'll show you how to find a Java developer. It's only a short video, seven minutes, but if you watch it, you'll learn more than you have done in 10 years or 20 years or however long you've been in the visit. That's a guarantee. So, uh, what we'll teach you is we'll introduce you to the three levels of Java developer, show you the different types of the developers, because there's different types. Then we'll show you how to skillfully search a database. And then we'll show you how you can decide, once you find a developer, what the level uh, he's at, whether he's uh, at one, two, or three. And for a Java developer, say using something like one of these CV search databases, so that you can successfully and quickly use a search database such as this one here. So basically, I'm going to go over this diagram here and quickly show you uh, how you think before you approach a database to search and how you understand what you're looking for uh, through this diagram. Now, for your information, there's three levels of Java. There's Java programmer, you can see here, and you have to have that before you can move on to the next level. As you can down see, it has prerequisite. You've got to be a certified Java programmer before you can move on. This is so you can add things to your programming skills. Okay, so then you can move on uh, to this platform, the Java uh, 2E platform, and there you can take several different business streams or seven different courses in order depending on which way you want to go and when you do that you hit this uh, this area here you become a developer so you're a developer there you go a developer and then if you combine two of these for example you can then become a master okay and so it goes down the way programmer uh, developer master all right, but going across the way, you can see here it's slightly different. So there's a gap here. See this gap? Okay, that means that these people really aren't the same as these people. So this master isn't the same as this guy here. This guy is a, a an enterprise web developer, whereas this guy is a um, web services developer, which is a different thing. And then this guy here, He's different again. He's a certified business applications developer. All right. But they're all masters, which means they've taken a completely different career path. Their career path has gone like this. Uh, this guy here needs to do a bit of Java beans here, but he also needs to know a bit of this JPA. All right. So he knows a bit of this. So that's the applications and interfacing applications to some sort of uh, 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 web service okay now this guy he needs to know a bit of uh, this jpa okay and then he needs to know his web services so he specializes in in in, uh, in that bit now these guys here look they're completely free of these void of these guys okay because they develop things on their own and then eventually they'll pick up a service but there's a gap there see there's a gap there was these two need to be interfaced and that's what it's like with these guys in on site you know these guys they've done training courses that come down here um and this is where they're going to be if they want to expand that to being a master they don't go over here and take an exam so they've no use to them what they do is they take this exam and that becomes a master because they've got all this and this guy he takes to become a master he's got all this which is a bit of this and a bit of this okay so i hope you understand that and quickly look it up here it describes it here uh, web developing web applications using JSF, uh, web components uh, with servlets and JSP. Okay, different things. Web services using Java technology. This guy's building databases. He's uh, applications with J uh, JPA. This guy here is um, components. Okay, with Java Beans, and this one here is an architect. So in conclusion then, these guys, there's the, uh, three levels, programmer, developer, master. And the master is the guy, yeah, and, and it's a career path. So therefore, if you understand that, and you understand the combinations of these things, JSF and developer, 
when you come to the other side of the what you're going to do which is do a search you're going to ha you're going to know there is method in your search there's method in what you do i'm going to search for java developer so we should get quite a lot so uh, as you can see we've got over 3000 java developers that's because there's five different types of java developer now and we could also try and work out if for example there's a java masters you know who's got a master to find a master they'd probably have a combination uh, developer skills so a quick way of reducing this is knowing what your customer wants does he want a web developer does he want jsf or does he want jsp what's important to him okay and you can see that this this is a good system because it's brought back uh, java developers okay and, and the job title is java developer java developer okay and that's what you want but there's a lot of them so and, and it's a one in five chance you've got the right guy you, you, you you've identified with your client that you want a jsf developer which is developing web applications as opposed to somebody developing components okay you want someone who's good at applications web applications rather than a web component all right in the course you're going we're going to all the differences of what these mean but for, for for right now you want a jsf developer okay so uh, you'll, you'll understand that jsf is pretty unique to java okay just uh, to show you if we tidy up a bit on what we're searching for java developer uh, now it's gone from 3000 to 2218 okay but if we type in here and jsf uh, uh, we now reduce that to 21 uh, which is about right if you think about it okay so look at that just getting that right gives you 21 cvs and let's have a look at now looking at this you can see he's a java developer you can see along this line here he's he's um he's got jsf okay now if you look at the guy below him he's got java developer he's got jsf and he's got jsp and jsf and jsp which means he could be a master okay i'm not saying he is i'm just saying he could be all right so uh, so that means he's, he's possibly got more uh, possibility of being a better guy than the other one this one down here has got jsf all right and that's the difference you know if, by looking at this now you can see there's a possibility that this guy is a master and this guy is just a developer so that's just a short video uh, and in nine minutes or something you've probably learned more than you've learned in 10 years and so that's what we're trying to tell you get on these courses uh, register here uh, with zag register now and we'll keep you informed where the training is and we'll speak to your directors or your companies to get you on the training program uh, uh, eventually you can sign up for a membership you get free membership with little videos like this little snippets in here you get uh, a lot better ones and longer and more trained up for the certification okay thanks for listening